Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone that rule well, and they bring this word and doctrine. And Shalom to the elect scattered across the four corners. 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. In it to win it. I'll read that again. 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. It says, And every man that striveth for the masteries, every man that striveth for the masteries, sorry, for the mastery, is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. So certain ones run in a race for what? For mammon, for vainglory. And we're not necessarily talking about a literal race, just striving and being on a path, even that ancient path. It says, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep, my, but I keep under my body and spring it into subjection, lest that by any means... When I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. And we pray that doesn't happen. As Syrac also talks about one that's profitable to himself. No, sorry. Profitable to others, but not to himself. So let's get this. 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. It says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. And let's get the word race. And we're not talking about Raza. We're not talking about Genos. It says, Stadion. What does that sound like? Yeah, that. Stadion. 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 It says a space or distance about 600 feet, 185 meters, a race course, place in which contests in running were held, the one who outstripped the rest and reached the goal first, receiving the prize. Courses of this description were found in most of the larger Greek cities and were like that at Olympia, 600 Greek feet in, <laughs> Greek feet, 600 Greek feet in length. And it also reminds me of um, the ones that talks about wrestling with their scriptures to their own destruction. If you know that is rest to the scripture. I think that when you get into the word rest, let's just get that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. First, um, Second Peter 3 and 15 through 16, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction talking about paul's epistles our people stumble and get trip up and cut themselves with that rest you go into this word rest Streblato. It says to turn away, no it says to twist, turn our auri, that's, that's confounding me, to twist, turn auri, to torture, put to the rack, metaphor to pervert, of one who rests or tortures language in a false sense. And you go into the root word here, it says, um, I can't even, or is it in um, so called Homer? There we are, there we are, there we are. Is it this? Is it this? This is one from one of the false books. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that goes into actually Greek wrestling. That's why it reminded me of a race as well. Talking about Greek feet and that. We'll fact check that afterwards. Salachi if it's wrong. All praise to Yahweh, Bashami, Yahweh, Shai, regardless. So you've got the word twist. And just to show that the words, certain words that are used in a Hebraic concept to twist. The scripture is how they use twist or turn in a Greek sense. Because of course we were Hellenized to the point where a lot of our writings, it goes back to the um, the Greek Septuagint. Sept being sept, you have a septagon, you have a September, which was once the seventh month, going back to seven, talking about the 70, who were to write that according to the, um, the history. So we're in 1 Corinthians 9, towards the end, 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. The word for prize is this word there. Brabion. The reward to the victor in the games, a prize. And what games would this be? Talking about 
Well, you've got you've got enough games, but certain games would be them Grecian games. I think it's um. It's an extra biblical biblical source, but it goes along with history. It's uh, letters from Pontius Pilate to Seneca in Rome, and it talks about certain ones, Jews or Israelites, who would flock from all places to come over for the Passover. Some of them would go and watch the games, but not not like their. The ones that wouldn't were referred to as their harsh Judaic brethren, and so go look that, go look that. I'm not going to post everything in the comments. I'm going to stop doing that. <laughs> post it. I'm going to post it in the comments. I'm being lazy on your behalf. I'm saying I'll do, go do the work for you. Look it. Check that I'm not chatting nonsense. So there's a prize in the public games. You got Phil uh, Philippians, verse three and fourteen. I, I went like ah because I I get confused if it's Phil Philemon or Philippians, but Philemon only has one chapter, so it's Philippians. 3 and 14, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. And that's what we're all pushing for, trying to win that prize. <laughs> uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 25, And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. To be temperate, mastery is also a good word, but temperate stood out more to me. So we'll go and get that first. And it's the word... <laughs> Ekratuamai, to be self-controlled, continent, to exhibit self-government, conduct, one's self temperately, in a figure drawn from athletes who, in preparing themselves for the games, abstained from unwholesome food, wine, and sexual indulgence. So games again, that's that's it's all linking in. Beautiful, the games, athletes. Look at the etymology of the word athlete as well. This is the root word, strong, robust. Going back to this, it so it means to in, in force. The word in, or n, in by with. It's a preposition. Then we're going to get the word mastery because there's one about masteries, and I'm not sure if it's. Ooh, that was familiar. That does look familiar, so you might find that there. I got needs of my. And that was the word strive, yes, strive. What does it say? To enter a contest, contend in the gymnastic games, to contend with adversaries, fight, metaphor to contend, struggle with difficulties and dangers, to endeavor with strenuous zeal, to strive, to obtain something. I'm looking for the one in James. We'll have to pull that. Masteries is what I'm looking for. So get 1 Timothy 6 and 12, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, wherein thou art also called, and has perfect and has and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. That's what Yahushai did, even unto Pontius Pilate, who we were just talking about, who sent letters. Again, check that book if it's on your spirit. If it's not, then it's not. 2 Timothy 4 and 7. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Finishing his course. Let's get the word course. That fight going into Agon. That would be the... Or what does it say? Agona. That would go back to the same route we were just touching upon. Course. Dromos. Dromos. There's Homer. That's why I said Homer. I'm not the one that goes, do the yellow guy. Look up Homer if you want to know about that. See that finishing my course, fulfilled his course. So it's talking about a path or something that you are on. Again, the, the faith, the path, the straight gate. That's a path, isn't it? Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in there up because because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few be that few there be that find it that would be talking about the path let's get the word ancient paths and if you're not already on it ancient path 144 is the backup for now because Esau's coming down and um 
He is coming down with great wrath. It's not the fulfillment of that in terms of Jacob's trouble, but we, we're heading in a direction, a serious direction. And by that, I mean he's not started chopping off people's heads yet necessarily. So Jeremiah 18 and 15, Because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incense to vanity, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient paths, to walk in paths in a way not cast up, and that would be the, the way into destruction. It says, To make their land desolate, and a perpetual hissing, everyone that passeth thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. And the land that's going to be made desolate in a time like this will be Mystery Babylon, which is the United States. It's not a mystery to us. It's a mystery to the world. It's not even a mystery to some Edomites. <laughs> some Edomites are wiser than Jake in this dispensation. But in the kingdom, all Israel shall be righteous. That's pursuant to Isaiah, the 60th chapter. But we're talking about races and not, not the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> not the race of Israel, you understand? Not the Raza, again, not the Raza. So you got Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are, com are com let me try that. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every way and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. And what is the race set before us? This walk. This ancient path that we're on. It says, Looking unto Yahushai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. <laughs> Yo, Hapak Maha, Tawab Hapak Maha, shout out you. You say, Yo, Brother, I'd be like watching your videos, and you'd be like cussing people out while they watching. It's like, <laughs> to water for the edification but i'm sort of like i'm sort of cut up about that like you be you be really getting on people so i was about to go well what's the name jesus how can that be his name and people would be like well it doesn't say how shot here it's all based upon faith this thing of ours elder apostle gabar always says this thing of ours is about faith and you had a certain group scoffing and mocking about faith-based israelites as if as if this thing of ours is not about faith so what's it about the law the law the law are you going to be saved by the works of the law? La Araba. You'll be paid according to your deeds, but your faith is what's going to... Your faith, your faith is key. Faith is key. Um, let's go in the word Jesus. Because in Greek, right? In Greek, you had the word Jesus. I look at that, it says it looks like Esau's. Jesus. And you see that pronunciation there? That's Esau's. I know it says Eusus, but it really is Esau's pronunciation. That's a Greek, that's a Hellenite. Are you a Greek? Are you a Jew or are you a Greek? But brother, I thought you said the Greeks were Israelites. You get the point. Are you Hellenized? So when we go back to this, it's the word, it says, Yahweh Shawai, but when you, when you go into the Masoretic text, there's not a Wa there. So that would be Yahweh Shai, and that's based upon faith. Can we go into a time machine, go back certain, certain years, and show you this, and show you the name, and show you all the, um, the color. well, when it says burnt like brass, can we go into a um, time machine and show you all these things? No, it's faith. That's why it said, blessed is he that, um, let's get that. See, because you're seen and believed. Right, look. This is John chapter 20 and 29. Yahweh I saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. And that's talking about in this generation, because certain ones and ones did see him in the generation before. What? Oh my goodness, are you talking about reincarnation again? Yeah, man. We well, said, blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. And that would be we. In this, from you being born in this dispensation, I love that word, dispensation, have you seen Yahweh Shai literally? You've seen the word and you have faith that the word is Yahweh Shai. So you could do it like that. But really this is talking about being in it to win it, to strive for the masteries. There it is. I thought it was in uh, James. I was going off. Yeah, that makes sense. Second Timothy 2 and 3 through 5. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. 
the word mastery is this is what we want because we're all striving for this and you Stefano when you have the word Stephanie or anything like that it's doing to royalty crownhood so let's get this Stefanato. Maybe something like that Sumerian dialect, innit? So you have that crownest him, crowned. So it's, all of them are talking about Yahawashai. And all of this, if you go a man striving for masteries, that's Yahawashai. He strived for masteries and he got it. He got that crown. Crowned with, with glory and honor. A little lower than the angels. Crowned with glory and honor. Okay. What, what more can we draw from this? Let's go back to the... Might just read that and then be out. So 1 Corinthians 9 and 24 Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that you may obtain it. And five of them are going to receive the, the prize, if you have an ear. Five of them virgins. Of the ten, five. And that's not saying half of Israel. because It's going to be a, a small proportion, except a remnant were saved. It said, we'll just get Matthew 25 and 4, read the whole thing. It says, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. And that is how you, um, that's how you're in it to win it. And the five wise virgins have won it. It's already set up, the, the elect have already won. The elect have already won, predestinated, foreordained, before the foundation of the world. All right. Be in it to win it. Giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahawashai Shalom